I'll catch you up on some other stuff. Let me take her for a walk and then, um, yeah, we'll have a little sit down. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. What's up, fertility fam? How are you? It's Wednesday. Let me turn the TV off. Long time no see. What's been going on? Where have you been? You left me hanging? Um, today is, oh, I didn't mean to turn it off, but that's okay. I was gonna hit mute. Today's Wednesday, it's the 22nd of April. Sunday was mom's birthday, so we were super excited that she got another birthday on Earth. And then Monday was my childhood best friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Ishlatia. Um, I am done working for today. What, why am I working on a Wednesday? So because the hospital is not allowing me to go in with mom anymore as a care provider, I decided to stop taking Wednesdays off. Um, so I'm working on Wednesdays. I'll probably be working this weekend too. We're doing, um, I'm doing some, on air, Elsa's looking at me. Look, she's ready to go for a walk. She already went for one walk, but it was real quick because I had to come back in for a meeting. Um, she took so long, or the two of us took so long getting out that we only had time for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna talk to you guys and I'm gonna take her for a walk. But she's like, who are those people? Say hi. You wanna say hi to the fam? Oh, did you just yawn? Like you're so uninterested in everybody. Oh my God. All right. Ooh, and my sister found two little Yorkies, like puppies that need rehoming. I'm so tempted to get one and take it home. Um, I'm gonna call and see how much they are asking. There's a fee, so yeah. But it's been to the doctor or the vet. That's a doctor, right? Animal doctor. Um, anyway. That's what's going on. Um, I will catch you up on some other stuff. Let me take her for a walk and then, um, yeah, we'll have a little sit down. What's up, Fertility Fam? How are you? Today is Friday. It is the 24th of April. I know, I was gonna do a new intro for the video, but I wanted to, one, show you that I did try to get to you. Um, I just didn't do the sit down. And two, am I the only one who has like, what day is it syndrome? Like, I don't know if I'm getting stuff done, if I'm not getting stuff done. Sometimes it feels like there's a lot. Anyway, it's Friday. Um, I wanted to do one update on mom and what's going on with that. So everything has gone to plan. Um, I won't say it's great because obviously having cancer is not great, but everything has gone to plan. Her markers are down um, and she's doing really well as far as her response to the chemo. And so that's amazing. So they've scheduled a surgery date. So it will be the 8th of May, which is the day after my birthday. And um, yeah, she was gonna do a chemo. They had her scheduled for a chemo for next week, but they're not gonna do that. They're gonna wait till after the surgery to start a new cycle. She just had um, cycle day 15 this last Wednesday, and so that was the end of cycle three. And yeah, so she's gonna have her surgery. It's laparoscopic. Um, hopefully she'll get to go home that night, but it depends on how well she recovers. She's gotta use the restroom, <sighs> number one and number two. And um, you know, how she feels physically. So it'll either be that Friday that she goes home after the surgery or she'll go home the next day. Of course, with the COVID, we cannot stay in the hospital with her. So that's why hopefully she gets to come home um, straight away. So yeah, that's kind of it there. Um, happy about that. Still trying to figure out what's going on. I was gonna film for you guys in my bed. I'll do it tonight. I bought an air mattress because I think I told you guys before I was like sleeping here on the couch. Um, and I got covers, I think, in my last video when I did the unboxing. I got an air mattress, so that's here. I'll probably film there either tonight or in the morning. And um, sleeping better, so that's good. But it's all sort of um, 
out of sorts you know the best of a bad situation there's a lot of stuff going on and I think my comfort is low on the totem pole but I realized like I was not getting good night's sleep and I gotta take care of myself so I'm trying to make myself a little more comfortable um I've been exercising I think I'm down pounds I'm not sure I didn't get on a scale but my pants are fitting better I need to do some sit-ups though I got an old lady pouch going on down there or pooch whatever that is and but I've been walking with Elsa we go once or twice a day every day um for like a 20 minute walk and then come back the weather is really nice here so that's helped that's like motivating me to get out sometimes it's hard to just get out of the door like put the shoes on and leave but I always enjoy myself once I'm out there so that's good what else you guys had some questions I want to make sure I address them um I tell you what if you have any additional questions um leave them down below and I will do a video just with those questions. I'm getting a lot of questions about AMH, anti-merillion hormone. I want to do a separate video on that, but in a nutshell, what the question normally people ask is, can I increase that number? And the answer is no, the short answer. I'll do a longer video to explain that, but there is no scientific data to support increasing your AMH. Um, you can improve the quality of your remaining um, follicles, eggs, there's no proof that you can increase your AMH and I'll do a separate video on that and I that's the one thing that's coming to mind. Um, obviously I'm still not doing IVF, I'm still in California, um, New York is still on lockdown, travel is still restricted, um, they're asking for essential travel only, obviously I'm going to be here for my mom's surgery so definitely we'll be here um, through May 8th and then we'll figure out what her recovery looks like. I'm gonna take that week off from work, the, well the following week because her surgery is a Friday and um, you know just make sure everything is good and then maybe by the end of May we'll be looking at going back home but again I don't know what's going on with the IVF because the clinic is closed and New York is still very much um, working on mitigation efforts right. I know some states are opening back up like I saw Georgia and I was like oh my god people opening up barbershops and whatnot. If you're in one of those states that's opening up, please be careful. Please know that the mitigation efforts are what helped, you know, keep it from not spiking like crazy. And I know it seems like it did spike like crazy. I'm just worried like when they open everything up, people won't be safe. So the beach can wait, your hair can wait, your nails can wait. Um, obviously if you can work and you're able to work, that's a very blessed situation. If you can't, um, my heart goes out to you. I hope that you have some savings, you have some unemployment, whatever it is to help get you through the hump. And I know in most of the cities are doing food banks, so hopefully everybody can eat. And yeah, it is, uh, it is a crazy situation. And I know, I think it's coming up more now about income disparities and food deserts and all of those. They've always been there, but nobody really talks about it. And I think people are seeing the impact of that. I saw a post on Twitter today where they were doing a conversation about how many parents are not eating so their kids can eat. And that is heartbreaking, right? So, or they're eating less so their kids have more. And it is crazy that that's happening in America, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy. So hopefully all of you are well and are eating and taking care of yourself and have your very basic needs taken care of. And then once those are taken care of, you can work on, you know, your peace and relaxing your anxiety. I know mine has been through the roof, but hopefully you're managing yours as well. For me, how I'm focusing and concentrating because I always need a project. I'm working on my credit or more specifically my debt. I'm paying down my debt um, so that my credit card utilization is lower and obviously that increases your credit score. But my focus is just like shoring up all my finances. I have a job for now. I don't know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, you never know what's going to happen. So you hope everything works out fine, but there is no vaccine for this. We could potentially be six feet apart, social distancing, wearing masks until 2022. And so what does that mean for the business world? You know, um, six months is one thing, a year and a half, two years is a very, very different thing. So I'm just <laughs> locking it all down. I was... I just remember 2008 and luckily I weathered it through that but again um, with little debt and you know 
I grew up very, um, what is the word I want to use? Hmm. Resourceful, resourceful. And so I know how to be resourceful, but I also want to make sure I'm not overextended. Um, I've been looking at mobile homes, like RVs, you can get them for 66,000. Like, yeah, whatever it is, um, I'm going to figure it out, but maybe it means leaving New York, um, buying some land somewhere, living off the land. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm, I'm exploring all my options. I was looking at tiny houses before, so RVs is not that big of a leap if you're wondering like, what? Obviously it's not my apartment with all my cushy stuff, but I, I've watched this show, Tiny House, and I think I could trick it out to be um, cushiony and comfy. I'm a tourist, so I like creature comfort, so I definitely could, you know, make it work. So yeah, and I think until the near future, Cheyenne's gonna be with me because I don't know how she's what work is she going to be able to do? She's currently unemployed. She's going to school via distance learning. So there's a lot of things to think about. So that's my tangent on my anxiety. See, I was talking about, I hope you're taking care of you. And then I turned it on me and my anxiety. Anyway, hopefully you are taking care of you and whatever it is that helps you kind of tamp down your anxiety, whatever it is to help you feel financially secure, food secure, all of those things, um, your basic needs, hopefully they're taken care of. And then you can um, focus on, you know, loving yourself and loving your family and just being grateful. I think of all things, I'm extremely grateful that I'm able to be here, that I'm able to continue working, that my mom is doing well. Um, I worry about my daughter, but I talk to her on a regular basis via FaceTime. But, you know, making the best of a bad situation. All right, fam, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm. Baby, that's to you all. Now I can't even remember them all.